Hey, I'd like you to refrain from having your mom over every weekend. I boldly told my husband how I really felt. He sighed loudly. Lisa, you know, you forbid everything. What do you mean? You don't want me to build a house. You don't want my mother to come over. You forbid everything. I didn't mean it like that. Then, what do you mean? How long do we have to wait? My name is Lisa. My husband Frank and I have been married for five years. We have one common goal. We want to buy our own home. Now that we've saved up the down payment, we're ready to move on from renting. The home I've always dreamt of. After we settle down, We want to start a family and raise our children in a home that we can call our own. Such hopes were growing, but a dark cloud looms over us. My mother in law, who had heard about our plans to buy a home, began to make some suspicious moves. I heard you're finally buying a home. Yes, that's right. Have you already decided on what kind of home you want? Yes, I have an idea of what we want. Well, that's great. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, have you been to the showroom near your house? No, we haven't been able to get an appointment there yet. Well, I'll make an appointment for you. We can go together. No. I would like her to refrain from it. I want to inspect the new house with my husband alone. But after that, my mother in law kept trying to get involved in our choice of property. She even made unannounced visits. I got you a brochure of land for sale. Thank you very much. My mother in law had a dozen of leaflets in her hand. How about this one? It's close to the station and big enough for two families. What did she say? Did she say two families? I was unable to say anything and my mother in law kept on talking. If the train station isn't close by, it's not convenient for anything. And you better be close to the hospital for when you get old. This property is close to a supermarket. You already have a hard time deciding which one to choose, don't you? At first, she asked if there was anything she could do to help. But before I knew it, my mother in law was taking the lead in choosing the house. She's pushing her wishes based on the assumption that she'll live there herself. This is not good. I told my husband everything that had happened that night. Oh, I think she might have mentioned something about living together. What? You want to move in together? Yeah, well, if you will let her. I won't force you, don't worry. I'm feeling a little blindsided by the statement of my husband. If I let her? I don't think so. I can't believe my husband would continue to dilly dally. I'll be the one who gets the bad end of the stick when I finally tell my mother in law that we're not going to live together. Why can't he realize that? Shall we stop building the house? What? Why? Because the way you said it. If I choose not to live with her, she'll know I said no. We're going to be together for a long time, and I don't want things to get awkward. I don't want a house if that's what it's going to take. I can raise my kids in a rental. And we can use the down payment we saved up for our children's education. Then my husband clearly started to panic. Wait a minute. I get it. I'll say no to her and we'll build a house. No, that's fine. You can't even talk to your mother. I've never seen my husband speak up to his mother. Don't worry, trust me. 
Why are you so desperate? I want to live in my own house and raise my children there. You weren't so enthusiastic when we talked about that. No, I was excited. That's a horrible thing to say. I feel the same way about our children. I see. My husband told me that he would turn down his mother, but I thought it would be impossible because of his personality. But the day after we talked about it, my mother in law stopped bothering us. And she apologized to me over the phone. Lisa, I got scolded by Frank. He told me that he wanted to live with you alone. I'm sorry I pushed my opinion on you. My husband really talked to her. He could speak up when it was really needed. But I wonder why I was still suspicious deep down. I told my husband about my mother in law's apology, and he had a very satisfied smile all over his face. You see, when I say I'll speak up, I'll do it. What's that look in your eyes? I was wondering if you really said it. Are you doubting me? Isn't that awful? I haven't seen you speak up to your mother in five years. And it's not like you actually said it in front of me. That's terrible. I tried so hard. You're right. I'm sorry. I mean, you're sweating like crazy. Why is that? Oh, it's hot. It's kind of hot today, isn't it? It's the middle of winter. By the way, Um, let's get the contract on the house. You want to build a house so bad? Of course I do. That's what we've been saving up for. At this point, I was no longer interested in building a new house. My own home that I had dreamt of so much. I worked so hard to save up the money. But because of my mother in law's behavior, And my husband's attitude, I felt as if the ladder had been removed. And I took a step back. In the meantime, my husband kept saying that he wanted to build a house. Six months had passed since the dispute. My husband kept on talking about the house, but I was still not convinced. And my mother in law, who had been quiet, had reached the end of her patience. She began to appear at her house frequently. She never talks about buying a house, but her attitude is becoming more and more arrogant. My husband and I both work, and we both have weekends off. My mother in law comes to our house every weekend these days. If it was once a month, I could deal with it, but if she comes every weekend like this, I don't feel at ease. My husband seems to be very happy. I'd like to take a rest at least on Saturdays and Sundays. But my mother in law comes to our house at 7 in the morning and watches TV with a very loud volume. When I don't get up, she walks back and forth in front of my room. My husband is busy taking care of my mother in law, so that should be enough. When I couldn't stand it and got up at 7 30, my mother in law would say, How can you sleep in when you have a guest over? And she stays until late on Sunday night. My husband doesn't say anything about her behavior. And when I look at him, the word divorce comes to my mind. But I want to avoid divorce if possible. I wanted to talk about what I could do to make things better. Hey, I want you to refrain from having your mother over every weekend. I boldly told my husband how I really felt. Then he sighed loudly. <sighs> Lisa, you know, you forbid everything. What do you mean? You don't want to build a house, 
You don't want my mother to come over. You forbid everything. I didn't mean it like that. Then what do you mean? How long do we have to wait for? You just said we. What do you mean? Who else is waiting? What? Didn't you just say we? My husband's face blushed and he started sweating profusely. I didn't say that. Then maybe I heard you wrong. We can't build a house with your mother coming over every weekend like this. Why not? Because I can't rest. If my parents came to stay over every weekend, would you be able to get some rest? Your parents won't come. They have such a nice house. I'm sick and tired of this nonsense. That's not the point. I don't care about the house. I'll ask my parents to stay with us next week. Then my husband raised his voice. Absolutely not. Why not? Because it's too tiring. Don't tell your parents to come over. My mother is the only one allowed here. This is my house too. I'm the head of the house. If you can't do what I say, then get out. Are you serious? You're no use to me at all. I'm done with you. You can't make my mother happy. And she can't live with us if we can't build a house. You promised she wouldn't live with us. What are you talking about? Once the house was built, we could do whatever we wanted, including living with my mother. What do you mean? I told you this much, and you still don't get it? I was going to invite my mother in when the house was built. I knew it. How could my mother in law back down so easily? My husband was just plotting with her. I see. That's what this was all about. Okay, I'll leave. I hope you won't regret it. Of course not. Don't even show your face in front of me again. I took the bare minimum of my belongings and headed for my parents' house. My parents were surprised at my sudden return, but when I told them what had happened, they welcomed me warmly. That's what family is all about, right? I guess our relationship was ruined when I couldn't trust my husband at the beginning. Dad, I'm sorry. I know things didn't work out between you two, but work and personal life are two separate things. Yes, I agree. And my husband and I are divorced. No alimony claims against each other. No money disputes, just the division of property. But three months have passed since then, and my ex husband is now on his knees on the ground in front of me. I'm sorry, father in law. I'm not your father anymore. Be careful what you call me. Um, boss, this is a left turn, isn't it? Because I divorced your daughter? What are you talking about? Why did my ex husband come all the way to my parents' house and get down on his knees? It's because he got an unwanted transfer. My ex husband and I are employees of my father's company. He seems to think that he was transferred because of our divorce. But his transfer has nothing to do with the divorce. My father said during the divorce that private life had nothing to do with work. Every employee of his company is assigned to a regional assignment for a few years. But it's for the purpose of improving their skills, and none of them were ever transferred as a punishment. But that doesn't seem to make sense to my ex husband. Lisa, stop the boss. I thought you told me never to show my face again. 
I apologize, please. No, this is not a relegation. I was the next president at one point, wasn't I? I can't believe you just interrupted me and said nonsense. You know what? I think you're mistaken. I'm the next president, whether you divorce me or not. What? Of course, I'm his daughter. My ex husband nodded and disappeared from our house. And the next day, he submitted his resignation. People around him told him it wasn't a relegation, but he wouldn't listen to them. A few days later, my ex husband was found in an unexpected place. I was casually watching a documentary program on the TV, and my ex husband was on the program. One of the people standing in line for a meal donation at a volunteer organization, poorly dressed, was my ex husband. You never know what life has in store for you. I thought of the word regret that I said to him in a bitter way. I'm sure my ex husband regrets his actions. The fact that he was holding two of the meals in his hand suggests that one of them was for his mother. I don't have all the details, but it seems certain that he's living a life far removed from the one he had before. And I'm currently enjoying being on my own. I'm busy with work during the week, but on my days off, I enjoy my time. It's a blessing to be able to get a good night's sleep. I don't have to be slammed in the morning anymore. I live in such happiness. It's the coldness of her ex husband, which she couldn't explain to people that made her suffer. I'd love to have it as a shield when I say no to my in laws. Lisa, you did a great job. I hope you can enjoy your time on your own now.